What's up guys, this is going to be a short one, just an update on how our trip went and what we're doing next week. So you'll want to tune in next week, it'll be a little bit, probably better video, but thanks for watching this video all the way to the end and liking, sharing and subscribing and clicking on the bell for notifications, that would be great. But uh, I thought I would just uh, go over the things that went well with the Nobo. 20.4 2023 camper and the things that didn't go so great so uh, all you people on the Nobo Facebook groups can have a little information about how things uh, may or may not work out for you so let's put this guy back in the house and then I'll head on over to the camper as you can see I've kind of already got stuff in here ready for next weekend We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. But uh, I'm just going to squeeze past this. Oh, jeez. That's not easy. Squeezing past this table here. All right. You don't want to sit on this when it's in. Uh, the main issue we had was uh, this breaker right here. I don't know if you can see that. That is the main 30 amp breaker. This microwave, well, it's off now, but we were in a different time zone when we were in South Dakota. It was mountain time zone. And our phones kept saying that we were in central and it got really confusing. So I'm like, you know what? Since we got power, we're gonna be hooked up for two weeks. I'm gonna set the microwave clock for the correct time. So we'll have a correct clock to look at, right? And all of a sudden, uh, we noticed when we were sleeping that it kept beeping. And so, I didn't think too much of it, you know. The next day, I looked at it, and it's all zeros again. The time that I programmed was back to zero. I thought that was weird. So later on, I'm sitting here on the toilet, and I can hear crackling. And I listen closer to the the converter box down there, the breaker, and I hear like a sizzling. So then I look at the main breaker and it is tripped. I'm like, what the heck? So I try to turn it back on, trips again. I'm like, uh oh, that's not good. So lo and behold, I take it all apart. I pull out the breaker. The wire that is supposed to be wired into the breaker was not really wired in at all. It was just leaning against the metal contact part of the breaker. And I know this because when I looked at it, I could see the carbon from where it was arcing. And so we potentially <laughs> could have had a fire. That was a very dangerous situation. The breaker was from, I don't know, from me putting it in or taking it out, some pieces of the plastic chipped away. And... Uh, where it was arcing, it melted a little bit, but I was able to put it back in there and make it work for our trip. Now, when I take this in, I think I'm going to have them... I wanted to do a video of me um, winterizing this, but I think I'm going to take it in and have them winterize it and fix that. I want a new breaker put in. And uh, the other thing I was going to have them do, but I think I may have fixed the situation for now so I'll show you that right now right here we notice that when we're not completely level uh, because when we were in Badlands we could not get completely level uh, the water would, would come up here and get back here right so I heard I could hear dripping I opened this up and I could hear that water I could feel the water dripping inside here which is not good. You don't ever want to have any water leaking. So I did. I tightened up the nuts. The nuts were loose. You got two nuts underneath these faucets here. I tightened those up, but it was still leaking. So I noticed there was no caulk around here. So I caulked that the best that I could. The issue I did have is there's no 
space to really get the caulk in here. You can't get the nozzle in there. So I'm hoping that uh, it's at least a little better. I'm going to bring that up when I take this in. Because it's I got all the warranties I could possibly get. I got like $8,000 in warranties. And I don't know why this is open. That should be shut. But other than that, we didn't have any issues. So that's a good thing. I want to show you another thing. This right here. We forgot one time to lock this. And this is what happened. I don't know if you can see that. You see that scratch? And that's what you get if you forget to put this on. So, always remember before you start traveling down the road to lock that in. But, uh, yeah. I will let you know if anything else terrible happens. Uh, one of our propane tanks was leaking. I'm not positive if that is the one we got with the trailer or not. But, uh, oh, here's another thing. I'm seeing it right now. This is going to be brought up. Mm, right there. Right there. I got it on camera. There's uh, air gaps in here. I don't know if that's how all these flies are getting in. We have so many flies in here. But yeah, that's it for the trailer. Um, everything else worked great. So the, I'm happy with the battery so far. So um, next weekend, it's probably going to be the last warm weekend of the fall around here. So we are going to go back to Boulder Lake. If you watch all of my videos, if you watch the first one, that the first true video was Boulder Lake Campground and it was very amateur. I'm still very amateur, but <laughs> when I watch that now, it's kind of hard to watch. So I'm going to try to do a better job and hopefully we have good weather. It's just going to be two nights. So it's going to be very short. It's going to be a short, sweet little trip. It's only about an hour from here. I know where to get all the free wood. I've been going there my whole life. So I love that place. And, uh, yeah, that's it guys. So thanks a lot for watching and supporting my channel. If you have any comments you'd like to leave, I always read them and I always respond. So uh, thank you. I'd ask for my friends.